Boom. What is going on, guys? Casual Fishing here, bringing you another unboxing video for the Monster Bass November, November box for the South Region. Super excited to bring you guys this video. If you guys are interested in more Monster Bass unboxing videos or just some bass fishing videos in general, I encourage you guys to watch some of my other videos. And if you like them, feel free to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, like as usual, I have not opened up the box yet, which you guys can see right there with the tapes on. So, no idea what's in it. I kind of know what might be. There's two potential things that could be in here that could that could potentially be in here, but if they are in here, I will tell you guys. But for now, let's just open up this box. I'm really excited to see what's in here. It's always a, it's always a good day when this shows up in the mail. All right, sorry guys, just had a bit of a cut. There's had a random phone call. It was, a, it was just a spam call or whatever. But first thing I see in the box, we have a new Monster Bass sticker. Well, it might not be new, but it's the first time I've ever seen it. Pretty cool. We'll probably go up somewhere. Next, we have a gift card for Detour sunglasses. Now, this is one of the things I was talking about earlier. There's like a chance I can either get like a custom painted crankbait or some sunglasses in here. I don't know if I got any of those yet, but there's a gift card for some sunglasses in here. $15 cash card, code expires in January of 2020. May or may not use this, we'll see. And I don't feel like going over that. So let's just jump right into the baits. Let's see here. So, what do we got here? So the River to Sea Ruckus Bait. I'm wondering, this, you know, I think this might be the custom bait they're talking about. I'm going to double check on that. You know, I'm not absolutely certain this is those custom baits that I, was that I remember being talked about. So, we, it looks like this is a nice little crankbait. Really excited because I think these are custom painted by someone. I don't, I don't know the full backstory behind this person, but it sounds pretty interesting. Pretty, uh-oh. I said it again, interesting. I, I gotta stop saying that word in these videos, but I'm really excited to test this out. It looks really nice, especially it's custom painted by the one person. Shout out to you. You did a great job. I really like this. Definitely looking forward to using it. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work right now because all the fish are super lethargic here in Oklahoma, but I'm sure at some point I'll use it and catch fish on it. Or I'll end up losing on a on a tree, because that's, that's where most of my crank baits end up anyways, but hopefully not. Has nice looking crank right there. Next up, we have the 3 8 South Striking Jig. Now this, I can actually see this working rather well right now because, you know, this is I said a minute ago, the fish are getting pretty lethargic. The water's cold here in Oklahoma. Just had, it was 14 degrees this morning here in northern Oklahoma, so it's getting cold. And I can only imagine the mass sort of getting even more and more lethargic as the, the days wear on. So, you know what? Getting a jig, you know, getting a nice little trailer in there and just, you know, slowly hopping it along the, you know, the bottom. I can start to see it catching some fish still. But, you know, always happy to get some, always happy to get some jigs. This is actually the first time I've ever seen one of these. So you have the Why Not Floating Twin Tails Plastic Swim Bait or something? Hold on, I'm not too sure what this even is. Kind of, you don't know if this up. Oh, that's quite. Oh, well, I almost said it. So the, I, I like this. Is, this is this is unique. See, there's, that's a good synonym, synonym for uh, for uh, interesting. Quite like this. Maybe would you Texas rig this? Maybe I could certainly see this working as a Texas rig. I can certainly see you know like maybe swimming this along. I'm sure these things kind of go like. That's a great sound effect right there. But I like it. It's interesting. Next up, we have some Bama baits. Looks like we also have some there's some Cinco worms. There you go. I infuse with Bama fuel. What's Bama fuel? It's probably just some slaunch sauce or something like that. Let's open this up. If I could. There you go. You start at the gym, I guess. Yeah, it's just a little Cinco worm. It's starting to see it. I actually might even throw it next time I go fishing. Plan going fishing here in a couple days. And I could certainly see this thing rather well. I wish I had. I wonder if I could wacky rig it. I like a totally wacky rig this, yeah. I like this. And I like the black and blue color because it'll work very nicely here in this dirty Oklahoma water. This black and blue's black and blue's been a great color this year in general. Water's been very dirty because we've had a crap ton of rain all year here in Oklahoma, so certainly very excited to try this bait out. I think it'll catch some fish. Next up. 
We have a, is it almost said boomer lures, bomber lures, model A. Looks like it's a, probably, I'd say a medium diving or deep diving crankbait based off the looks of it. Um, I wish it would say, is, is, is it safe if it's a medium or... Alright, so this is, like I said, like the medium to, dive, medium to deep diving crankbait, dives about 48 feet. And I'm sure this would have worked great about a month ago, but like I said, moving bait bite is basically dead here in Oklahoma from what I found. Doesn't mean you can't but get any bites, but I'd imagine with this very cold night we just had and just a lot of cold nights recently, I don't... It's probably going to be meeting a lot of Ned Rigs and Cinco's and... Jigs and just, just something slow. I don't really see moving baits really working that well. But we have a Lunker Hunt thread fin, 2.25 inch, 3 inch south crankbait. Actually, ooh, that's, that's a nice color right there. Let's get a close up on that. Hopefully, it's not blurry as hell. Ooh, yeah. I like the coloring. I, I can, it looks like something would swim in the ocean, but I, I like the bright coloring, the bright kind of blue and coloring and silver coloring should work pretty nicely here. Again, don't know if that's going to get bit right now, but I'm sure it will in the future. And I'm always happy to smart crankbait, so I have quite a shortage of them right now. I have a tendency to lose them. Next up, we have some treble hooks. That's interesting. <sighs> I can't stop saying that stupid word. Anyways, have some must-add treble hooks here. I'm kind of wondering what that's for. Well, I'm not too sure what this is really for entirely, but I'm sure someone in the comment section will tell me what it's for. Maybe there are replacement hooks for these crankbaits, which, I mean, sure, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I don't, I don't have too much trouble losing hooks, but, I mean, you know, hooks eventually wear out and lose their sharpness, so I'm sure it come into use at some point. Or maybe it is for something here. I don't really know what, but maybe. Lastly, and certainly not least, we have the Z-Man Slim Swim Watermelon Red. A little swim bait, and I'm gonna open this up real quick because I actually quite, quite like this. And now I'm actually gonna, ooh, I like that. Oh, I know, I know, I know the perfect, I know a place where this could work really well at. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, get a little, get, get a look at a little Ned rig hook or something like that. Put that on there, and just kind of swimming along. That actually could work as a Ned rig too. I can see maybe like, you know, kind of working on the bottom, just kind of hopping along like this. You know, this kind of. Doing its thing right there. I could see that working like as, an, as an ad rig. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> god, I need to think of better vocab. <laughs> oh well, either way. Now, something I want to mention for, to you guys. I actually didn't know this. A couple, about, about a month ago, I was fishing with these, one, like another Z-Man bait, and it wasn't sinking. And, and I figured this out on my own, but I was told by a viewer that Z-Man products don't sink on their own. Maybe that's just common knowledge, but I didn't know that, which, well, that just shows you how good a fisherman I am. But, um, <laughs> anyways, make sure you have a, if you actually want your Z-Man bait to actually sink, you need to have it on like a weighted hook on there, something like that. So, yeah, there's that. Alright guys, that'll be off this little unboxing video. And for once, didn't have a Monster Bass video that didn't go wrong. <laughs> it seems like every time I do one, something goes wrong. But, which, that's not Monster Bass's fault. Most of them have been my fault. Anyways, pretty pleased with this box. Has had a nice variety of just, you know, kind of some some slow-moving baits for more lethargic fish. And some moving baits for the people who might still be on a bit more of a fall pattern. But, as I said like four times this video and already, Oklahoma's definitely starting to transition into that early winter pattern. So, definitely going to be throwing a lot of, lots of this. Maybe some of this. And definitely some of this. And possibly some of this. I'm kind of curious if, it, if you guys are even still watching this point in the video. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Bring it for Carolina, Texas, shaky heads and drop shots. Okay, so it also makes for a good jig trailer. Yeah, ooh, I can definitely see this working as a jig. Okay, I was about to ask you guys how you guys would use this, but I can't answer my own question there. So, very excited to test these baits out. We'll be going fishing in here in the next couple of days. I don't know how well it's going to go, considering how cold it's been here, but... Anyways, that'll be all for today's video, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you're interested in more of these Monster Bass videos, then I do encourage you guys to check out my channel. So, that being said, guys, you know the drill. Keep it casual, folks.